Hello everyone, this is Lydia. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how I like to upload and organize uh, SVG files from outside vendors. I'm going to demonstrate uh, uploading and organizing a file from Dreaming Tree in this video. Now, these are just how, there are other ways that you could organize your files, but this is the easiest way I've found for me to do it. Um, your screen will look a little bit different from mine because I have my screen zoomed in so you can see what I'm doing a little bit better. First I hit upload, then upload image, and browse. I'm going to get this down here where you can see it. And I have all my files in one folder uh, and I've already downloaded the quick and easy occasion cards and I'm going to update upload the birthday card the first thing I will do is uh, grab this uh, the JPEG of the uh, finished project um, it, it just helps me to have a reference um, handy in my file so I'll just um, import it like I would import any other any other JPEG and continue and I, so I try to keep my uh, naming convention conventions consistent so and I will definitely tag it I put in dreaming tree so I can bring up all my dreaming tree files at once and then I'll put a birthday card so I can search for birthday cards easily. And then I'm going to hit Command or Control A to select all of those, and then Command or Control C to copy that so that I can use it on the other files. So, and then I'll start uh, uploading the pieces of this project. So, since I'm using a maker, I'm going to, and this is a Dreaming True file. Uh, the, there are files with solid score lines included. Um, if you want to use the perforated score lines, you would use these down here. Um, so I'm going to go into the extras folder and it says solid score lines. So I'm going to start grabbing those. Um, and I'll start with the envelope. And again, I'm just going to I'm going to put DT birthday card on the front of each. Uh, piece and then I'll just uh, paste my tags in there and then I'll do this with all the other pieces until I get them all uploaded into design space okay I've got all my images uploaded for my dreaming tree birthday card I'm still on the upload screen. I will hit view all. And I know that the first image that I uploaded was my picture for my reference. So I go back to that and then select everything that I uploaded since then. Again, my screen is zoomed in, so it's, this is a little bit easier when it's not. So I will click insert images to insert them into a project and before I do anything else I'm going to save it and I'm going to save it dreaming DT birthday card just to be like how I name the images and you can save use whatever name will help you remember so I hit save I'm going to zoom DS out here since um, my window is so zoomed in. Um, so the first thing I'm going to deal with is this picture. Um, this is just there for my reference. I'm not going to print it out. But since it's a JPEG, it comes into Design Space as a print and cut. And it also comes in at 11 inches. Uh, so that is obviously outside the limits of print and cut. And so... Design space is giving me an error uh, in the form of this little uh, yellow triangle over here, and it'll also give me an error if I open it uh, from my projects. It will give me an error that I have something that's unsupported. 
So uh, just to not have to deal with that, I'm going to make it 6.75 inches wide, not 16. 6.75 inches wide and that error will disappear and I won't have to worry with that anymore. So I'll just hide that for now. Uh, the other things I'm going to deal with here are uh, this piece. This These cut lines here are for positioning uh, other uh, pieces of the project so I'm going to leave those as cut lines. Um, and that's, that'll be one less time that I'll have to swap out um, the scoring tool and the um, premium five point blade on my maker. So I will just hit attach. The next thing I'm going to deal with is this card base. And uh, it has a line down the middle. It comes into design space as a cut line, um, but obviously I don't want to cut my card base in half. So I'm going to make that cut line a score line. Now I make sure I have both layers selected and hit attach. Uh, the next thing I'm going to deal with here is the envelope. Uh, obviously it has score lines here that um, are currently cut lines. We don't want those to cut. We want those to score. So we'll just make those score lines, make sure they are, uh, this is all selected, and click Attach. So, this is, it's kind of a mess right now, but that's okay. But, so I'm not going to do anything with it right now. I'm going to get my picture back. I'm going to move that to the front so that when I save it and come back to it, Later, when I open my projects at a later time, it'll be on top. And so I'll have a better idea of what that project actually is when I see it in my projects. I hope this video has been helpful. If it has, please give me a like and sub subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.